In this video, we'll insert edges and bridge form bodies. After completing this step, you'll be able to use insert edge, use bridge, merge edge, and weld vertices. In Fusion 360, we want to carry on with our trigger with mechanics design, and we want to make sure that we're inside of the form workspace. Once we're in here, we want to try to connect the cylinder that we created for the handle and the main body that we created. In order to do this, we need to make sure that we understand some of the tools that we have available. First, I'm going to go back into Edit Form. I'm going to select this edge, I'm going to hold down Alt, and begin dragging it forward. So as I do that, I want to note that it was not able to automatically combine these two together. You'll notice that there is an edge here where they're broken. So even though we extruded this edge before, and even though they come from the same body, we do need to be aware that as we begin to extrude or pull these parts, that we need to make sure that these are connected. So in order to do that, we can weld vertices together. So under modify, there are a few options that will actually work for this. We can weld vertices. We also have the option to merge edges. In this case, let's take a look at weld vertices. So I'm gonna be taking a look at these two vertices. It automatically puts them together once I select them. And you can see here that it was able to stitch that open edge together. And now we have a nice smooth transition. I'm gonna select okay and go back to a front view and take a look at what we have. So you'll note here that we are building this handle as we're going down, but we still need to bring this portion back around and combine the two. So let's take a look at how we can use some of our tools to make that happen. Under the Modify menu, we're gonna take a look at Bridge. And I'm just gonna start with these two edges as side one. And for side two, I'm gonna bridge it with this edge here. Notice that there is a vertex selected and an arrow. We wanna make sure that we turn a preview on and we see exactly what's gonna happen here. I'm gonna say okay and allow it to create that. So you'll notice that it was able to create that, but now we have this edge, which is sort of ending at this open section. This is not ideal whenever we're talking about creating a nice smooth body. And also we have some twists and things that are happening in here that are probably less than ideal as well. We wanna make sure that we are able to smooth all this geometry out. So I'm gonna go into modify and I wanna take a look at two other options that we have. I have insert edge and I have insert point. Let's take a look at insert edge first. If I am to select edges, I'm able to insert an edge into this design, but notice as I go to a certain point that there is a problem. It's not gonna let me grab all the edges, but it can allow me to use a continuous edge and create that. So this allows me to put an edge in and I can come back and combine those vertices. Another option that we have is to go to modify and insert point. For this, I can start at this point and I can work my way over to this edge and say, okay. And it's gonna automatically divide all of those faces that it crosses. So in this instance, with the geometry that we're working with, that is a much more reasonable option. Another thing I wanna mention is a way that we're actually taking a look at this subdivided body. Right now it's in what's considered a smooth display. If we go to utilities and display mode, we can actually put this into a box display. Now the box display or alt plus the number one on the keyboard is a great way for us to smooth out the underlying geometry. This can be a great option whenever you're trying to create complex organic bodies because we need to be extra careful with the underlying geometry. So if we get edit form and we take this vertex, for example, I can begin pulling these up or down and around, and I can get closer to what the final shape needs to be. And I can make much better design decisions when I'm looking at it in this box display rather than in the smooth display. So we're gonna pull these around and we're gonna get a little bit closer to this underlying geometry. I'm gonna move this down keeping in mind that when I'm using the manipulators, I'm moving in plane, which means that I'm only moving up or down in X and Y, I'm not moving in and out in Z. 
And that's an important distinction because we don't want to be moving in and out accidentally. So now I can pull this down or I can pull this entire edge down by selecting it. And I'll go ahead and I'll grab a couple and I'll pull this entire edge down. This lets me get a little bit closer to where the handle actually comes in on this design. And again, this process takes a while and it, it is very important for us to be careful and mindful about where we put all these points. So this is gonna take some time and it's gonna take some experience working with these underlying subdivided bodies. Once you're happy with how it looks, you can use Alt and the number three on the keyboard to go back to the smooth display. And Alt and the number two will show the smooth display underneath and the box on the outside. So it can be a good intermediate. From here, we might also want to add some more edges. For example, we might want to take these two edges. We might want to use Alt on the keyboard and bring them down. I'm going to get them close to where I want them. And then I'm going to combine them back together. So while we're in edit form, we can't make that combine happen, but we have to come out, go to weld vertices, and we can put these two together. And then again, we can go back to that smooth display. So this is looking quite a bit better. I still need a little bit more in this area. So I'm going to go into modify insert edge. I'm going to grab this edge here and I want to put a new edge in. This will allow me to pull the handle out just a bit more using edit form. Once again, there is a lot of, of art form that happens here. You need to spend some time playing around with these tools and really getting a good idea of what they do. And then once you have a solid foundation in how to select, move, and combine things, then it'll be much easier for you to create this type of geometry. What we're gonna do from here is we're gonna continue working with this model. Again, double clicking will allow us to select that edge loop. I'm gonna pull this up a little bit. Then I'm gonna hold down Alt. I'm gonna bring it up. I'm gonna rotate it, scale it down. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to make this back section. So once again, you need to play around with it a little bit and we can always go back and forth between that box display whenever we need to. And once we're pretty close here, we're gonna hold down Alt again. We're gonna bring it up. We'll rotate it around, scale it, and pull it into place. And I like to go back and forth between that smooth display and that box display because it can be extremely helpful to better understand how many divisions you might need in here by just bouncing back and forth between the two. Again, I'm gonna hold down Alt. I'm gonna pull this forward. I'm gonna rotate it till it's pretty much vertical, scale it down just a little bit. And again, we're gonna be working with this design and pulling all this stuff together. But now I wanna create another extrusion on this top portion. Get them fairly close. I'm gonna say, okay. Go back to modify, weld vertices. I'm gonna put these two together. So once again, now we can use edit form. We can get a little bit closer to that final shape. I can move this around. Go back to smooth display or box display whenever we need to. And that looks pretty good so far. So this is a great chance for us to save. Again, every time we make a save, we have a version that we can go back to if we ever need. So in this instance, I'm gonna select save. And then we're gonna come back, we're gonna continue to refine this model.